showing us the repeat of last night's pay-per-view TLC, which was pretty good. And of course, Kane is in the ring after he attacked Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and AJ Styles after their tag match with Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. And before Kane explains why he attacked Braun Strowman, they're showing us a repeat of what went down last night when he choked Slam Braun Strowman through the stage and buried him in all of those chairs. Even though, again, he still got up. That's why I said in my TLC review that Braun Strowman is not human because a real human wouldn't be able to get up after something like that. Because again, Corey Graves say that Braun Strowman is human. No, he's not. And they threw him in the back of that garbage truck. So again, I guess Kane is going to explain why he turned on Braun Strowman. Even though he said he does what he wants. Raw's only monster? Hmm. So I guess now he's going to go to Braun Strowman's path and demand competition or something bad will happen. Well, who's going to come out if anybody is going to come out? Is anybody coming out? Are you kidding me? Finn Balor, the man who beat AJ Styles in that dream match last night at TLC. Finn Balor is standing up to Kane. You're brave and all, but you sure you want to do that? I don't think that's a good idea, Finn.
and we have learned Survivor Series. It'll be the SmackDown Tag Champs, the Usos, going up against the Raw Tag Champions, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And to me, so far, that's my favorite match card. I think that match is going to steal the show for right now. Who knows? Anything can happen. Also, Jinder Mahal challenging Brock Lesnar to a match. And of course, he and Paul Heyman will arrive later on to answer Jinder's challenge. The Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, will battle the U.S. Champion, Baron Corbin. And of course, the two five-on-five -five elimination tag matches. So it looks like Finn Balor is going to battle Kane. Finn Balor, I love you and all, but hope you know what you're doing.